Let's talk about graphs and how and when to use them. When presenting ideas that include references to data like sales growth, or cost reduction or any reference to evolutions in numbers and figures, it can be helpful to make the point using a graph or a chart. These visual methods can make the point much stronger than simply describing the data. Just have a look at these two slides. Which one conveys the message better? Presentation of data is tricky. Most people in your audience simply hate to crunch numbers. So here are three secrets to help your audience understand your graphs and charts better. Now, a lot of data is available from Excel or other spreadsheet software, and most presenters have the habit of cut and pasting it from there. Bad idea. Excel files are created for detailed reporting. Most presenters equate complexity of charts with believability of information. That does not work in a presentation. Rule number one, simplify the data. Think of what you want to convey with the graph on the slide. Is it an increase in turnover? A cost reduction? Is it a higher margin? Showcase only relevant data and kill all the clutter. Cut out everything else. To make the presentation of data effective, remove everything that can potentially distract the audience's attention, like backgrounds, redundant labels, shadows and 3D effects. Let us look at an example. This graph is far too complex and contains too much information. By deleting the non-relevant information, we get a much more informative slide. Do you see the difference? Sometimes presenters have a favorite chart type and use it all the time. They forget about the basics. Rule number two, use the right charts. Basically, we distinguish between three types of charts. There's a pie chart, the line chart, and the column or bar chart. Pie charts represent proportions or percentages, for instance, man-woman balance at the workplace, or like in this example, cost allocation of a product or service. The second type of charts are line charts. These are perfect to represent trends or an evolution in time. Mostly the horizontal axis is the timeline and the measured value is represented in the vertical axis. Column or bar charts are used to represent ranks under different conditions. For instance, to show the turnover of a product in different regions. Much like you can see here. Graphs without a clear focus take a long time to understand. And you know in a presentation you don't want to confuse your audience. So make your point clear from the very beginning. So here's rule number three. Make your key point stand out. A lot of presenters expect their audience to do mental math and draw their own conclusions. And this is a great way to lose your audience's attention. A simple yet very effective trick Use the title to reinforce a graph's message. The best graph titles introduce, summarize and reinforce its message. So remember to keep your graph simple and easy to understand. Instead of using a title like Turnover by Region, you could use this title. North Region has the biggest turnover, which explains your point perfectly. Now one final thing on graphs. Do not underestimate the importance of colors in a graph. Colors can focus on the right thing, but they can also distract the audience. Take this pie chart, for instance. Where does your eye immediately focus on? Yes, it's the orange segment. That's because orange is a bright color. But if you have a better look, you'll notice that in fact the back portion of the chart is much more important. <laughs>